Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to take up questions which come in uh, class uh, section A of uh, class 10th uh, board exams. So the questions um, are of two marks each. So which basically means that we have to keep the answers short. So uh, we are starting with the introduction to object oriented programming concepts. And uh, some of the questions which can be asked from this chapter are like this. For example, the first question which I have written here is what is OOP? So basically, in this sort of question, this is uh, the answer which we can provide. It stands for object-oriented programming. It involves objects which are instances of a class. Objects can store data and provide interface through functions. So you just need to write this much. Uh, that would be more than sufficient. Okay. Now, what is a class? Next question. A class is a blueprint or a template based on which multiple objects can be created. All these objects share the same attributes and behavior. Now, at, instead of attributes, you can write properties or characteristics. Behavior means functions. What is an object? An object is an instance of the class. It is an entity which has some characteristics or properties and behavior. What is data abstraction or simply what is, an ab what is abstraction? So abstraction means to hide. So the English word abstract means to hide. So this you need not write this. I've just written so that you remember. Okay. So what is abstraction? So abstract means to hide. So this is only for understanding purpose. So we can start writing uh, like in the exams. You can write from here when only essential features are presented. Hiding the background details. It is called abstraction. Okay. Then the next question which is very commonly asked is what is polymorphism? Again, I've just given you a hint here. So just so that you remember what's the answer. So basically poly means many and morph in the English meaning of morph means forms. So polymorph means many forms. So poly polymorphism is the ability of a message or a data to be pressed to be processed in many forms. You need not write this. This is only for so that you remember it just to help you remember it now the next is what are the principles of oop so basically uh, this can be put in another way what are the concepts of object oriented programming so just remember you need to write encapsulation polymorphism inheritance abstraction you need not get into detail or definition of these this is a two marks question they're just asking you the names now the next question which can be asked is what is base class and what is derived class so here we can say a base class is also called super class and derived class is called the subclass and the subclass inherits the features of the super class and uh, you can add one more line if you want that super class is the class from which the derived subclass inherits the features and the super class is the class from which subclass inherits the features or subclass inherits the features of the superclass. Okay. Now, another question, important question could be write any two advantages of object oriented programming. So I've written here four advantages, four or three uh, reuse of code, ease of comprehension and easy redesign and extension. You just need to write this much. And uh, now these are some of the questions which can be asked from this chapter okay more or less it covers the entire chapter you don't need not get into much detail of this chapter because these are the questions which are commonly asked but questions can be reframed for example a question can come what is the difference between a class and an object or a question like this can also come that uh, which principle which oop principle is implemented by function overloading so here we've done function overloading so which oop uh, principle is implemented by function overloading so the answer would be polymorphism because in function function overloading we have many forms of one function that means we have different forms of a function so polymorphism so these are a little like uh, tricky questions so you need to be aware of otherwise more or less this is uh, if you just remember these questions i think uh, you're good enough okay thanks for watching